Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Youth Man. In today's video, I want to share with you some cool upgrades that I'll be adding to Youth Man's home theater. Before we get into the video, if you're into home theater, audio and video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you'll be notified when the next video drops. All right guys, this video is going to be a little bit different than my typical video. Today I just want to share with you kind of a story time of a trip that I took down to Apollo Beach, Florida to visit a friend of mine that has a really, really cool home theater. Now, I was talking to him last week and he shared with me that he had several pieces of equipment that he was wanting to sell. When I asked him what items he had for sale, one of the things that piqued my interest was a Denon 4200. Now, the Denon 4200 is a 7.2 Dolby Atmos receiver. And the reason why I thought about it was my son in his bedroom setup is using an older Yamaha 1700. Now that's not a Dolby Atmos receiver, but it's still a pretty decent receiver. It has some of the older formats, Dolby True HD, DTS Master, but it doesn't have some of the newer formats and it's not 4K compatible. So this receiver does have the 4K compatibility as well as Dolby Atmos. And so I figured that'd be a great upgrade for him. So when I asked my friend how much he wanted for it, he said, man, he said, honestly, uh, give me 200 bucks. I'm like, that's a great deal. I looked up the price on them on eBay. They're selling for about $500. I think new it was a $1,500 receiver. And so I'm like, man, I talked to my son. I said, son, do you want to buy that? That'd be a nice upgrade for your room. He said, yes, sir, that'd be great. So he gave me the money. I went down to pick it up. And while I was talking to my friend, he mentioned that he would even throw in a Harmony remote. Now I had never been to this new audio friend's home he had previously been to my home once during a audio demo that I had here when I was comparing the Klipsch RF-72s to the RF-7s to the RF-7 version 3s. So I was excited to be able to see his home theater even though he was moving. I still always love to get ideas and concepts and just see how other people have their rooms set up and configured. Now when I get there, he's in the process of removing some of his speakers. He had the larger Klipsch RF-7s as well as dual RSW15 subwoofers. Now I offered to give him a hand to be able to remove the speakers and put those off into a side room because they were going to be having a, a home showing the following day. And so we began to work and pulling cables, um, removing speakers that he had mounted on the wall, um, taking the RF7s down from behind his false wall, moving those into a bedroom and then removing the subwoofers and moving those into the bedroom as well. He also had two audio racks that he wanted disassembled. So it took us a little while to get those removed. And so we pulled those out into the garage. And once we finished with that, we began to look at the equipment that I came to buy. He showed me the Denon 4200 and it looks like it's in incredible shape. And so I'm really excited for my son. Now, if you're interested in seeing my son set up in his bedroom, I'll link a video in the card above and you can check that out. So we looked at the receiver, he had the remote and everything, and I'm super excited about that. But then I looked over and saw the remote. And honestly, I was thinking, okay, he's going to give me, you know, just one of the older $35, $50, $60 remotes that Harmony makes, some of their lower end models. And I look over and honestly at that time I really didn't know exactly what model it was because in my home theater I currently used an older Harmony One remote to control my entire theater. But when I looked over, you know what he had? He was giving me for free a Harmony Elite. Check that out man. So I'm super excited about this. This is going to be a nice upgrade over the older Harmony One remote. So he had the Harmony Elite remote with the Harmony Hub. Now it originally retailed for like $350. Currently it's still selling for about $300 on Amazon. And so I'm like, holy cow, what an incredible blessing that was. And if that wasn't enough, just getting the DIN on at a great price, then you add the Harmony Elite remote for free. What an incredible blessing that was. So if he would have just sold me the Denon for $200, that would have been an incredible deal. And by throwing in the Harmony Elite with the Harmony Hub, that's a ridiculous deal. But guys, it gets even better than that. My friend ended up blessing me. He was so grateful 
that I was willing to work and help him remove speakers, unhook his stuff, disassemble part of his cabinet, move some equipment to other bedroom, move some other equipment out into the garage. He was so thankful. He said, you know what, Michael? I want to give you a Panamax 5500 line conditioner and surge protector. Are you kidding me? That unit, it's a little bit older, but that unit retailed for like $1,000 and is still selling for like $350. I hung out with him and his wife probably about four hours that day. We just had a great time hanging out, just talking about life, talking about their beautiful home that they had, talking about his move, where he was going, what he was gonna be doing, as well as his new audio setup that hopefully in the near future, I'll be able to go over there and kind of give you a tour of his new set up and so i'm really excited about that he's got some revel speakers so i'm really really excited about listening to revel for the very first time and, and sharing here on this channel his setup and so i absolutely was floored i was so incredibly thankful and so left there and before i left he also was asking me hey do you know anybody that needs some theater chairs and of course i thought about it. i have a friend that might be interested and called him and he wasn't really interested but you know what? The more I thought about it, the more I began to wonder, hmm, would this be a good opportunity for Youth Man to even upgrade his home theater seating? So what do I do? I think about it a day or two, and I've listed my home theater seats. These seats have served me well, but his are really, really great. They've got nice armrests that have dual cup holders in each uh, middle section, as well as compartments in the middle. So then we can hide some snacks in there or no, I hopefully won't do that. We'll just put the remotes and things. But you can see in this picture, these seats look amazing. And so I'm really hoping I can sell these theater seats and uh, purchase those from him. That would be a big help to him as well as a nice upgrade here in Youth Man's Theater. And so guys, the main reason why I share that with you is a lot of guys sometimes look at my theater room and and I've even seen in comments below they'll make comments like oh you're rich or oh my goodness must be nice to have money guys I'll be honest with you most of my equipment in this room was purchased used at crazy deals like the ones I'm talking about here some of the deals that I found online sometimes bought through friends sometimes through Facebook groups sometimes through guys in the clips forum and different areas let go offer up facebook marketplace a lot of different areas i found some really really good deals just by being patient and looking and so if you're on a tight budget and you can't afford a brand new denon 6400 that retails for 2200 dollars begin to look for some quality used equipment there's some great resources out there and a lot of guys are willing to sell at a decent price or even a fantastic price because maybe they're wanting to upgrade to the latest greatest. And so I wanted to share that not only just to share my excitement for some cool upgrades that Youth Man's getting in his theater room, but hopefully to motivate you that any home theater, even if you don't have a dedicated room, can be built at an affordable price. You just got to be willing to be patient look for those deals and have some money set aside so that when those great deals come along you can pick those up really quick because those type of deals if they're listed online they go super quick and so guys that's going to wrap up this video i just want to share with you my excitement about these now in the future i'll be doing some videos on the harmony elite because this is a current model this is something that some of you guys might be interested in so i'm curious as to how this performs how do we set it up and so in the future i'll be doing some videos on this if you guys would be interested so if you've got a universal remote like the harmony or maybe you've got a universal remote control or something else leave a comment down below and just share with me what you're currently using as well as if you've got a line conditioner what are your thoughts on those do they make a difference which model do you have i'd love to hear your feedback on that and lastly i just want to say thank you so much to those of you that purchased some of the youth man merch in my last video if you haven't seen the video you can check it out right up here in the card above and so for those of you that are supporting this channel through purchasing some youth man merch my sincere gratitude i just want to say thank you so much for your love and your support and it allows me to continue to create great content for you guys 
Well guys, that's going to wrap up another video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the future videos. And as always, you guys be blessed, and we'll catch you in the next video.